everyone and welcome to your 29th jQuery tutorial in which we'll be discussing something called AJAX in jQuery. Now not technically jQuery, AJAX is a feature of JavaScript but I'm explaining that in jQuery because jQuery makes it a hell lot easier to use AJAX and transfer data with AJAX which we'll be learning in a minute. So AJAX, what is AJAX actually? So AJAX is kind of a way to load data under the hood. So the best example would be like if you ever browsed Facebook then when you scroll down your timeline, your uh, news feed you can say, then you see that the new posts appear magically. Now how does that happen? Without even loading the p reloading the page or without even you submitting any data how does Facebook load the new items in your news feed automatically whenever you are about to reach at the end of the page now they do that using AJAX which you are gonna learn in the next three tutorials now one more example I've got in my mind right now is that whenever you use your Gmail account or whatever mail service you are using probably Yahoo or Gmail or Outlook or whatever then most of these have a JAX implemented in their inboxes so whenever you are for example I use Gmail so whenever I am in my uh, in my inbox area then I don't need to reload every minute or two to check for new emails they automatically come and my title of the tab is automatically updated with the number of new emails I have received. Now they they do that with AJAX. Now we're gonna learn what this AJAX is and how is this gonna work. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we need to work with AJAX is you have to have this library obviously why I'm talking so lame. So <laughs> anyways now let's get started so go to your script.js file I got mine and just type your normal waiting document dot ready function and I'll just create a new file right here which just says um, load me dot txt and this will just say this is a dynamically stored text okay now um, what we can do is we can create a div right here now this would be the simplest example I've ever done with the jacks but that would be the best one to explain to you guys div id my div simple as that I'll just grab this id just say my div dot load load me dot txt now if I open my browser and let me tell you guys first of all that your code won't work if you try to do that because because there has been a security implementation a security breach I am performing right now which is I am loading the file from um, the file protocol so you see right here if I inspect element in this page and I go to networks and I'll just reload this again so you see that this load me dot txt is requested on file protocol and JavaScript is traditionally not allowed not allowed for security reasons to load anything from the file protocol because file refers to the system of the user and JavaScript is not allowed to tamper with the system of the user obviously because that would cause security reasons then why the heck this is working on my computer so the answer to that is that I have disabled the Chrome inbuilt security feature by launching Chrome in disabled flags mode something called flags mode and you can just google um, load documents from file protocol in Chrome 
just google that and the steps would be easy if you don't get that then leave that to me I'll explain you that in the comment section but anyways the more valid way of doing this thing is to launch your site on a server and then perform an AJAX request but for the sake of simplicity of this tutorial I'm not using localhost well um, truly I just screwed up my HTTP dot configuration file and that's really embarrassing but you know I can run my ZAMP right now on my Windows PC so sorry about that guys so anyways you're free to try that on your local host but not on file protocol unless you launch your browser in a vulnerable mode which I don't recommend for browsing but yeah if you're a developer then you know that better so anyways now what we are doing here is we are just simply um, saying inside this jQuery that my dev right here should be loaded with a text file loadme.txt and since this is available in same area so I don't need to add like file and hold that path to do that so it ju it'll just work like this only so loadme.txt works just like this and we'll be working on more of a JAX method and trust me guys this is not just limited to dot load method there are many more methods in the JAX and we would be working on all of them and I'll be explaining you that eventually so stay tuned with me don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then